Hello, I'm Safia Widdishans and I'm reporting from the Relay Track for Relay for Life of Second Life 2016 and I've come to the campsite of a new team, Radioactive Air, and I'm talking to Annika Eve Braveheart, who's co-captain of the team. Hello, Annika. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Can you tell me how you came to be involved in Relay for Life? It actually all began with one of the regulars who comes to the club where I DJ. Um, she saw a donation kiosk sitting on our stage and asked if our team was looking for more members for Relay for Life. Um, I told her I wasn't sure if we had a team, so I went to Faith, who is the owner of the club, as well as our team captain, and I spoke to her. I said, there's somebody very interested in being a member of our team. Do we have one? And Faith explained that, you know, we didn't have a team, but if there was interest, let's go for it. So Faith got the necessary information, put the team together, and here we are on the verge of Relay Weekend. That's fantastic. So this is your first year as a team? Yes, this is our first year. Wow. And have you been to Relay Weekend before as kind of part of another team or just to see what was happening? I have not. This is my second year being in Second Life. And I was actually unaware that Relay for Life takes place in Second Life. Um, I've participated in relays um, in real life, if you will. Mm -hmm. um, so this will be my first experience doing Relay for Life of Second Life. Wow, that's awesome. Can I come back and find out how it went for you after the event? Because Oh, I would. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, go on, go on. Um, I would absolutely love that. I would... I would love to speak with you again. We are a very small team, but we are very enthusiastic. We're really excited for this. Um, everybody that I've met through this process, everybody I've talked to, um, they've told me so much about Relay Weekend, but from what I understand, it'll be even more than what they're able to just describe to me. So we're very excited for this. Mm, I think you'll find it just incredible. Well, is there anything you're particularly looking forward to in the weekend? Naturally, um, I'm hoping to get a chance to see everybody's campsites and to see how they interpreted the theme, which, as you know, this year is Once Upon a Cure. Mm -hmm. um, but... What I'm most looking forward to is that this weekend is not about team versus team. It's about a lot of people coming together for one common good, and that is to support the American Cancer Society and to help them in their efforts to put an end to cancer, which I think every single person would definitely agree on. That's brilliant. That's fantastic. So you're called Radioactive Air. Where did that name come from? Um, as I mentioned, I am a DJ for Radioactive Air and Nightclub. So when Faith was putting together um, our application to become a team, it just seemed natural to name ourselves after the club that we work for because we're one giant family there. So we're one family here as well. So Team Radioactive Air is what we went with. That's great. So have you been holding lots of events to raise money? We've done some auctions. Um, I DJ on the weekends and a lot of times um, during my sets, I would tell people that the goal was to try to make me go broke. So every time somebody made a donation to, Ra to um, Relay for Life, I would match it Linden for Linden. And if they told me they were able to make a cash donation, I was willing to match them dollar for dollar because, you know, whatever we can do to support the American Cancer Society and all the good work that they're doing, I was willing to do. So we've had... Um, we also have outfits. Um, we have a kiosk just up on the stage. We have a men's outfit and a ladies' outfit um, with the theme Once Upon a Cure. So 
just anything we could think of to kind of help. And we did get a late start um, than the other teams did. And I'm really proud of the efforts that Faith, Rave, and myself and everybody who has come out to help us. Um, I'm really proud of what we've been able to do. It's, it's an amazing, amazing thing. It's, you've pulled together, if the events you've pulled together are anything as wonderful as your campsite, I'm just so sorry I missed them, because it must have been terrific. (laughs) Thank you. So, tell me about this campsite. It's, uh, I'm standing here on the red carpet with you, which is really impressive. I feel a bit like, you know, I should be asking you about your Oscar chances. (laughs) Um, well, the theme this year is Once Upon a Cure, and we, Faith and I talked about it and what we thought that it meant, and we initially started off thinking of an actual campfire, like sitting around the campfire telling stories, and the more we started thinking about it, the more we started thinking about movies and how everybody who is involved with um anything related to cancer, whether they're a researcher or a survivor or a caregiver or um, one of our loved ones, there's all kinds of stories that need to be told. They're the stars and why not treat them like the stars that they are? So we decided to put together this theater house. um, And of course, no theater is complete without a red carpet. Um, What we have inside, instead of just renting a movie, we took Um, the names that people sent to us and put them into the slideshow presentation. Um, Instead of movie posters on the walls, we hung up posters giving information about cancer research, the American Cancer Society, prevention uh, prevention information, just anything to teach people as much as we can. Um, Everybody who is involved with the American Red Cross or Relay for Life or just somebody who's been affected by cancer has a story to be told. And this is just our way of giving them that chance to be more than just a survivor, a researcher, a caregiver. Um, And hopefully one day they will actually be able to put an end to the story and we won't need to have a slideshow with names. We'll be able to celebrate people in a different way. So this is our way of kind of dedicating um, this weekend to everybody. That's fantastic. That's a wonderful description of why you have a campsite like this and I wish you every success I hope that you have the most fantastic first weekend Um, you deserve it with all the work you've done and uh, good luck thank you so much we're really really looking forward to it and I'm seen some of the campsites that are just around where we are now and it's very impressive I've had a chance to go over to see the auction areas and the gotchas and it's this is completely amazing if I thought Relay for Life just in real life is impressive this is a hundred times more than what I could even imagine it to be so Mm. We're very excited, and this will not be the only year. We're already talking about next year and future years, and so it's. we're just really glad to be a part of it all. Well, I'm extremely glad you've joined in, uh, <laughs> and yep. I will catch up with you after the event and find out how it went. So until then, all I can say is... Go Relay! Go Relay! Hello, I'm back again on the Radioactive Air Campsite. Uh, I was here 48 hours ago talking to 
Annika, Lady Annika, resident who is captain of the radioactive air team, talking about what she was expecting from Relay for Life and how she came to be involved. And now it's after the event, so I'm here to find out whether it lived up to her expectations. And we're joined as well by her co-captain, Faith Fromond. And Faith, I believe that this was your very first Relay for Life. Yes, it was. And it was amazing. So what happened? What were your highlights, both of you? What did you... What surprises were there and what was really outstanding about it for you? Well, I think for myself, um, I think the luminari, the lighting of the luminaris was, it was overwhelming, emotionally overwhelming. And it was so touching that, you know, I, I participated in things in real life. And I think it was at that particular moment that I realized that SL and RL were just, it, it was one cause and the emotions were still there. I've participated in Relay for Life in real life and I wasn't sure how it would compare to Second Life and what Faith, myself and my team experienced last night was such an emotional bonding of all the teams. This was not which team was getting bigger fundraiser totals or which team had a better build. This was about everybody coming together to say in one voice that we are going to find a way to beat cancer so that no one else ever has to go through this. And I think probably one of the most emotional portions of the event was the Luminaria lighting. Um, our whole team stood right in front of our campsite and we just cried with each other and talked with each other. And if there was a way that we could have all just grabbed each other's hands and we probably would have. Um, this is definitely the most amazing experience and I truly hope that everybody has an opportunity to come and relay with us. So do you think you'll be back next year? What do you think Faith? Absolutely. That's brilliant. And I guess you've made new friends here as well. I we definitely we have. have. We've met so many wonderful captains and co-captains, and one of our team members, her name is Bubble Pearl, she made a comment to me this morning as we were um, going around, and she was saying how she feels like this event has brought herself, Faith, and me a lot closer together, and that we've formed a much stronger bond than the bond we already had Um through radioactive air and nightclubs. So it's it's been absolutely wonderful. And these are people that I hope we talk with more than just once a year, that we talk all the time and, you know, find out more about each other. Now, did you participate in any of the activities and events that were organized as part of Relay for Life? Uh, part of the weekend, I mean, not the whole Relay for Life. Well, we did participate in, uh, in the auctions, and um, yes. Did you have any luck? Annie did. Tell her, Annie. Yeah. Um, Trader from T1 Radio mm -hmm. offered a, um, a guest DJ spot with him on an upcoming show, and I thought, you know what, I'm, I'm going to try it out and we'll see what happens. Mm -hmm. And I was absolutely shocked as the minutes ticked down and um, Ray called the end of the auction and I discovered that I had won the spot. Oh, fantastic. So I'm, I'm more than excited. I couldn't believe it. I, 
I honestly didn't expect it. Oh, I thought, you know what, I'm I'm going to put in some bids, and you know, if it happens, mm-hmm. it happens. Mm-hmm. So, definitely be be on the lookout for for an upcoming ep- uh, episode for an upcoming <laughs> set um, on T1 Radio with myself and with Trader. That sounds brilliant. That's something worth looking out for. I hope you're going to publicize when you're doing it. Oh, yes. We're going to plaster it all over SL. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, we we attempted to, um, there was a hunt that was mentioned, and Mm -hmm. Faith and I attempted to figure out where the hunt was, and along the way we found some campsites that we were looking for. Um, We found the snail race track. Mm -hmm. We saw the museum. I mean, this is such a huge area it's I wish we had you know more than a weekend and a couple days following just to be able to take it all in Mm. yes yes it does seem a shame that it's here and gone so very quickly and Annika and I spent most of our time on the track and you know as you're running your laps you don't get an opportunity to really look around and kind of check everything out yeah Um, flashes past it does. Oh, and then I do have to say, you know, one of the other um, events that I thought was just so cool was uh, the victory lap, having the fireworks and the people cheering you on. And oh, my God, it was just so great. So I know that people were cheering for us. And then when we'd go by, you know, we were cheering for them, too. That's wonderful. That That's great. Well, I look forward to seeing you here next year. We, we look will, forward to it. Agreed. We will definitely be back. Um, hopefully, who knows, maybe next year it will be, as I heard Trader say on his show, that maybe next year it will just be a giant party and maybe we won't have a need to relay next year. But mm. even if we do need to relay next year, Team Radio Active Air will definitely be here in force and doing everything we can to support the American Cancer Society. That's brilliant. Thank you very much for talking to me, both of you. And I'm so glad you had a wonderful first Relay for Life. And thank, thank you, too, for taking the time to meet with us. We we weren't expecting this, and it's absolutely wonderful. This is this is beyond beyond exciting. So we appreciate getting a chance to meet with you and to talk with you. So, all that's left to say is, of course, go relay. Go relay. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much for talking to me and for all you've done for Relay for Life. Thank you. We can't wait to be back next year. Wait till you see us. <laughs> <laughs>